What's up, tennis peeps? I wanted to share with you some clips from a recent serve science applied seminar I just did down in Florida. The tennis serve drills I take the players through are not just vital for power, but also consistency. If you enjoy the video, please like it. And as always, the best way to support this channel is to subscribe. We're gonna go on court. I'm gonna take you through a few progressions on the serve. The progressions are gonna be really, really important. It's really important that you watch exactly how I do each drill and you try to copy me exactly. So, and I'm gonna show you some things where you're gonna be like, oh, I love it. And you're gonna be excited. I'm gonna go surf. But I, I urge you to slow down and go through these progressions because they're so important to making it really click, okay? Drill number one. Sideways grip, the edge of my racket's pointing up and my arm is collapsed. Now again, a lot of you guys ever wait or serve palm uppers, your body's really used to facing forward. With this motion, you're gonna be hitting across your body and sideways. So ready? Wrist watch. Edge, wrist watch. Choke up on your racket, it's gonna be so much easier if you hold it up here at the throat. Edge, wrist watch. It's a huge bonus if you can think about striking the ball as the racket turns out, generating forward rotation over your head. That's a huge bonus. See that grip's good enough right there? Right now go completely limp. I'm gonna do it for you, okay? I'm gonna do it for you. I just want you to feel it. See that? See, I kinda had to let it drop in a little so you had room to brush up and out. That's the feeling you want. Okay, go for it. Hi. Hi. Why are you asking her? I'm right here. Come on up. <laughs> I do this for a living, you know. That's true. That is true. All right, ready? I'm gonna, I want you to stand sideways and go completely limp, okay? okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually do it for you. I'm going to take your arm through it so you feel it, okay? Okay. So I throw the ball? No, no, I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do everything. All wow. you got to do is just feel it. Good. So you see how it's kind of like as the racket goes up, you feel the spin? That friction and brushing idea? Everyone, let's go put our rackets back against the fence. Put your rackets down. For those of you that haven't played a lot of sports, whether it's golf, baseball, softball, football, anything that involves not just throwing a ball but generating force, you do that through body segment separation and coming back together. So everyone just stand there for me. And I want you to start going back and forth like this. I want you to feel how your knees pull your hips, pull your shoulders. Those of you guys that are moving like this right now are the ones I'm a little worried about. There's not, I'll tell you, you want to add five miles an hour to your serve, have a mimosa before you go out and hit. I'm just kidding, it's, it's diminishing returns. All right, now check it out, here's the drill. You're gonna start with the ball at your ear. You're going to turn your shoulders more than your hips. You're going to turn your hips more than your knees and your knees more than your feet. So you're going to have this loaded position, nice and loose, loose guys. Body segments don't separate through tightness. You're limp, okay? Your elbows back and you're just going to throw your elbow forward, okay? You're just going to point your elbow back and throw it forward. If you can go from here, to there. It's not going to be like this. This is what you guys, some of you guys are going to do. You're going to want to straighten your arm and go, ah! Actually, Chad, I was watching you over there earlier. Chad has a tendency to drop his elbow a little bit. So, Chad, your elbow is going up too much. So, you're going to lose a lot of power. For angle, like for spin and stuff, you actually want to point your whole body up because you still want this elbow going forward relative to the body. So, here's the drill ear, coil, Nice and loose, elbow go. Now the ball doesn't really weigh a lot, so you could throw your arm out if you try to like really throw it hard, so don't worry about that. Just be, go loose and just focus on throwing the elbow forward. That's great, Tony. That looks so much better. Nice and loose, Tony. There you go. Okay, this is it. We're gonna try to put those two concepts together right now in our last progression, okay? Um, we're gonna go through these balls, we're going to pick them up. We're going to do the same drill with the next basket of balls. We're going to do this two basket of balls. Now, remember what I told you guys. Do the progression exactly as I asked. Here's what I asked you to do first. Oops, sorry. 
You're good. Go from edge to wristwatch. Here's what I saw. Ah! Some of you guys jumped ahead of the game. You have to go slow and do the progressions as you're asked. So first one was this, right? Edge to wristwatch. Good, spread out. Let's do that together a little bit, ready? Your arms collapsed, edge is up, arm is out. Now if you're thinking about brushing the ball from seven to one over your head, even better. Ready, seven to one. Good, now the, what was the second one? Loose throwing motion. Okay, remember, there's only two principles you have to understand on the serve. One is what happens during pronation, that's how to hit it in. And two is how to generate racket head speed, how to hit it hard. So ready? Move that grip down to the bottom now. The grip should be continental. Sometimes I get ahead of myself with these things and I realize I didn't tell them how to hold the tennis racket. But it should make sense now. If you want the edge of the racket to go to the ball, this isn't going to work. This will work, kind of. This would be ideal. Okay, but now, so get your continental gripper close to it, as close to it as you can bear. As close to it as you can bear now, and put your racket up over your head in that hair brushing position. Now turn sideways. This is where you're going to hit serves from now. You're going to start here in the hair brush. Now let's practice getting from the hairbrush to the on edge. This is where we can't see what the pros do, we think we do, but the racket's going so fast, wrong side. Look at all you guys wanting to point those strings to the ball. Your brain loves it, wrong side. Ready? Wrist watch. Now listen, it's really tough to talk about these things in segments because that's not how they work. It's all together, it's a, it's a continuous throwing motion. So remember that, while you're trying to do this, it's a continuous throwing motion. But if you didn't have any start at all, if you just walked up like this and hit a serve, you, and you could do that motion, you would have enough, uh, a solid enough motion to take tennis as far as you wanted. In fact, there's pros that start there. That looks pretty good. Good, so the only thing I would say is you're really forward as well. Kind of a similar problem to Tony, right? You're out here and you're coming in, kind of trying to get over and down on the ball. The best way to hit hard and to get the spin is to turn under the ball. So if you want to get your ball to go up and over the net, like the shots you were just doing, you were getting a forward spin, but I don't really see the trajectory going over the net, you know? So you got to get the idea of turning under the ball and like you're doing this way more, you know? So right now you're here, you're forward, over and down. We want you turned under, up and out. So just turn more, turn more. Toss more, one second ladies, all right, aim that way. Face, face me, turn towards me, there you go. Coil body, so turn under the ball. There you go, that's better, that's better. That's gonna give you a racket path with a better angle on the ball. It's just gonna go in more. That's the seven to one you were talking about? Yeah, exactly. 